Hello and welcome to How I Use My Philo FX Planner. I'm Tara Swiger. I help makers and artists build businesses they love. And I actually wrote a book about taking your big goals, figuring out what you want in your life and your business for the year, breaking it down into the quarter. And then the question is, what do you do once you know what you should do for the quarter? Well, the answer is you put it in your weekly calendar. So you make a plan for everything you need to do, you write it down and you write it down for the week. So today I'm going to show you what exactly I do. So I actually start with the process that I outline in Map Your Business. I get clear about where I want to go for the year and what's next. So first up, what do you want to have more of in your business and your life? What do you value and what would you like to feel every day? Those are mine. And then what do you want to do more of this year? And then we talk about your North Star. Now, this can be both your North Stars, like the things you want to experience all the time, big, big picture for the rest of your life. And also, what is the word of your year if you want to pick one? I picked strength for this year. And then I set uh, my goals for the year and then broke them down into what I want to do each quarter. Now, there's a lot of questions in Map Your Business that will help you figure out what you actually need to do to reach those goals. What do you need to add? for your sales goals um, what kind of products do you sell and what's their price and how many do you need to sell in order to reach that sales goal number now my goal this year isn't a sales goal it's related to the shop and then once you figured out what you need to do all year including like craft shows you're going to do events you're going to go to you fill out month by month what you're going to do each month then you can figure out what you actually where you have time to focus hard to do this one-handed <laughs> where you have time to focus. So like my January and February were super busy. So my goal wasn't very big for quarter one, but my April through June are a little less busy. So I might be able to work on a bigger chunk of my goal then. Then Map Your Business walks you through creating a map for that one goal for the next quarter. You break it down into mile markers and then to do's and then you put it all in an order that makes sense. So then you end up with a big list of the things you need to do to reach your goal. And I'll give you an example. So part of that, breaking that down, I use this calendar, um, which Jolie of Jolie Creates made for me. Um, and I kind of put down whatever I had in each week, and then I broke down what I could work on. So uh, during that week, that's what the big words are. They make sense to me. Um, this is from quarter two of last year. Then I take my, um, my, my map that I made with my projects and my goals, and I kind of break them up by what I'll work on each month and see here's my goal. And then I keep this piece of paper in the front. So once I'm clear on what my goal is and where I want to go and what I'm really going to do this quarter, it's time to actually move to the day-to-day. -day. So I use a A5 Filofax. I love it. It's hot pink. It's not very thick or heavy at all. And then I add some things to it. So this is my a reminder of my number people can call and leave a message. It goes to a voicemail. It's got a little cute picture of me and Jay at the beginning of it that makes me cheery when I open it. Then it's got a list of my power-ups. Now we talk about this in day nine of Month of Biz Love, and I will link to the video where I explain these uh, in the description below the video. But these are the things that will make me feel better if I stop and do them. They'll take less than 10 minutes. I'll improve my mood. Next, a list of my strengths. And we did this in day 16 of Month of Biz Love. I keep these here to remind me to focus on my strengths and not my weaknesses. And then the core values of my business. Now, I've talked more about core values in a recent video. I'll link to all the references below in the description, so make sure you go there. This just keeps me um, focused on what really, really matters, and I like to start my day by looking at them. Then I just have some notes to myself in there, a little cheeriness. And I got these dividers. I'll link to where I got these dividers. I got them from an Etsy shop. The quote is, go confidently in the direction of your dreams, live the life you've imagined. Then this is where I track the bills that come out automatically each month. And I would show you that, but I don't think my husband would like me showing all of our numbers. <laughs> but I just write down all the bills that are coming up for the month and the amount and what date they're going to automatically come out. So then I can just mark them off when they've automatically gone through. 
So I've underlined the weeks where I'm out of town so I just can see at a quick overview what weeks I actually have time to work my business or what's a normal week. So I take out the pages when I'm done with them. Uh, every couple weeks I remove some of the pages so this doesn't stay very heavy and isn't very thick. And here is a look at a normal week. So first what I do for the week is I write down what my focus is, if I have a marketing focus, and then what my sprint is. What am I working all of my time and energy on? Then what are the actual things I need to do? So this week I had both the podcast and the Q&A and I was doing a live recording of our new class, Elevate Your Business. So that was really everything. My sprint for the week was just to record those things. Um, that involves recording a podcast, doing a blog post, doing a transcript, things that happen live like the Starship Chats or recording Elevate Your Business. I don't usually, the steps for that are pretty straightforward. I just have to show up. I did have to prepare for the q and A. I um, had already outlined Elevate Your Business the week before, so that didn't have to go on here. Also this week, I created a survey. So I need to create it, I need to send it, and then I need to spend some time processing it. I'm doing Midwest Craft Con, that's MWCC, next week. So I outlined it this week. So what I do is at the beginning of the week, I sit down, I write out my focus and my sprint, and then I look at the tasks I'm gonna do. Now these might be just regular tasks I have to do every week like this, or they might be from my map. If I had a big goal I'm working on and I made a list of 50 items, I would put that here, like special project X and then work on it. So back when I was working on my book proposal, there would be a couple tasks each week towards that bigger goal. This week, because I was out of town two weeks ago and I'm out of town next week and the week after that, um, I'm really just doing a lot of like stuff that's repetitive that happens every month or every week, just focusing on getting that done. Also, my book, Map Your Business, came in and I needed to ship out over a hundred of them. So I had to finish that up on Monday. There's not a lot to say about that in here. I just package and send all books. I already had the labels printed. I just had to do it. And then outline Elevate Your Business for next week's recording. And then, so I've, I've written out what all the tasks are. I do this Monday morning. It takes me maybe 10 minutes because I usually have this, either it's repetitive or I've listed it when I did my big project planning. I just go back to that list. And then each day, I just write down what I'm going to do that day. Monday was a basic just offline package books day. Tuesday, I was recording Elevate Your Business for two hours, and then I did a Facebook Live, and then I wanted to upload it to YouTube. Wednesday always looks easy <laughs> because I'm in the chat with the Starship for about four hours, 11 to noon, um, or no, 11 to 1, and then 2 to 4 for this chat. And then I did my email catch up, and I created the survey. Then Thursday, I wake up, I write down what I need to do. You can see I didn't get everything done this week. That's what the arrow is to the next day. And then Friday, woke up. When I sat down to work, I wrote down everything I wanted to get done. I didn't get them all done. That's okay. They'll move to the next week. What I do when I feel super overwhelmed is I have everything down here, but then I prioritize for the day. So often you'll see a one, two, three. Those are my main priorities. Sometimes when I have a lot of things scheduled that I have to get done at a certain time because I promised them I'd get it done at that time, I'll put in the time and I'll actually do it in the order that I'm going to do it. So this day I kind of went in order down my list. Some days I prioritize the most important things, especially if I'm having a hard time focusing on what I need to focus on. So that's a look at a pretty easy, simple week. And uh, since I actually just got in these sheets last week, I don't have past weeks to show you. But um, every week is different. Every week I am either working on the things that are right in front of me I need to work on or I'm working on a big project. And like I said, I just, whatever the project is, I put it here and I pick the things just that I can do this week on the big project. I do not worry about the massive list of a hundred things I need to do for the big project. I just focus on what I can do this week. And then each day I write down what I'm going to focus on that day. And then moving forward, I write in whatever I have for a couple weeks because I was going to Midwest Craft Con, I have to be sure I record the podcast on time. I'm always recording the podcast this week for next week, what comes out. I'll write down my focus and my sprint if I know what that needs to be. I actually realized after I wrote this that I actually need to focus on this instead, so I moved that to the next week. So when I sit down on Monday morning, I don't have to wonder what am I supposed to focus on. It tells me. 
also because I'm traveling that week as well, I put that in so I make sure I do everything that needs to be done that week before we leave on Thursday. And then I have the next uh, three months in here. And then I have a section, well, this is where I keep track of the comics I read. Then I have a section of just notes to myself, stuff I wanna remember when I was working on the training and a branding course. I have a video about how to do a mind map. This is that mind map. I keep it in here. Um, and th this is an example of some of the sheets I had in last year that I took out at the beginning of this year. So when I was planning month of biz love, I wrote down what I was going to, what was going to be involved in it. And actually, um, then the individual lessons I wrote down as they came to me because I was sitting here with pen and paper as I came up with Periscope and podcast topics, when I was Periscoping all the time, I started writing them down and then let's see, just some notes. Uh, when I was in a meeting with my agent, she gave me notes. I wrote down those notes and used them. One thing that I do keep in here for until the end of the year is any calendar that I put down and what my projects were and where I reviewed what happened with those projects. So I use this in my end of the year review to realize what I actually worked on. So I worked on tons of things that I kind of forgot about. So I have quarter two, I have quarter three, um, what the goal was, uh, what the projects were, and, um, and then any calendars so that when I'm reviewing my year, I actually know what happened that year. It's so easy to forget the big things that you do that take up huge chunks of time. So I keep those and then I um, look at them in my yearly review. And at the very end, I um, have a stamp and some labels so I can always send things. That's it for my planner. Um, I'll put links to everything I mentioned in the bottom. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and ask. You can get a copy of Map Your Business if you don't know what your big picture is. You cannot put it on your calendar day in and day out. So you can get Map Your Business at tarasfeiger.com slash mapyobiz. And make sure that you have subscribed below. And if you like this video, like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Thanks and have a great day.